$2.24 trillion. This gargantuan figure was the global military spending in 2022, and as you would expect, the $2 trillion on weapons and units of warfare, from stealth fighter jets that run terrifying circles around clouds in the skies, to intimidating Panzer tanks that would gladly raid the pits of hell and drag the devil back in its trail. Now, most countries justify why they spend so much on their military. They say it's peacekeeping, others say they're defending themselves, and then there are some that are honest enough to admit that they just love war. Whatever it is, that's not the focus of this video. Our focus is on the select few, the military super heavyweights that tower above everyone else. I'm talking about military superpowers with expensive and frankly terrifying arsenal. Which country has the most powerful military in the world? You are about to find out. Turkey. It's easy to forget that the Turkish military exists, and that's because since the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in World War I, they haven't been as active as many of the other military arms on this list, but do not make the fatal error of underestimating Turkey's military. Very few countries can rival the sheer power and unwavering determination of the Turkish armed forces, and for one, they have the bank to show for it. In 2023, the military spent $16 billion on its defense and security. By 2024, they intend to more than double that amount. They're going to be spending $40 billion. If this isn't impressive enough, then it's important you see how those billions are being spent. The Turkish Armed Forces has 401,500 active personnel and 380,000 reserve personnel across its land, Navy and Air Forces, as at 2023. They are the 10th most of any country's military in the world and the second under NATO, but having people is nothing if you don't have the weapons that make them deadly. And in that department, Turkey puts those billions to deadly use. When it comes to ground warfare, the Turkish Armed Forces boasts an impressive array of tanks that strike fear into the hearts of their adversaries. It boasts 2,229 tanks, 112,476 military vehicles, and 3,661 self-propelled, towed, and rocket artillery. A worthy mention is its formidable Leopard 2A4 and M60T tanks. In the air, the Turkish Armed Forces exhibits unparalleled aerial prowess, with an active force of 50,000 personnel and a fleet of approximately 1,056 manned aircraft. The Turkish Air Force is the third largest air force in NATO and the ninth most powerful in the world. At the heart of their aerial might are the F-16 fighter jets, which serve as the main combat aircraft. These versatile machines are capable of performing a wide range of tasks, from air superiority missions to ground attacks. Another aerial weapon system that deserves special mention is the Bayraktar TB-2 unmanned combat aerial vehicle. A state-of-the-art drone has garnered international attention for its exceptional performance on the battlefield. Equipped with advanced sensors, precision-guided munitions, and a long-range capability, the Bayraktar TB2 has solidified Turkey's position as a leader in drone technology. Another significant development in the Turkish military's arsenal is the acquisition of the S-400 air defense system from Russia. This advanced surface-to-air missile system has the capability to detect and neutralize a wide range of aerial threats, including aircraft, drones, and ballistic missiles. The deployment of the S-400 has bolstered Turkey's air defense capabilities and further solidified its position as a regional power. Completing the triad of military might is the Turkish Navy. With one of the most powerful fleets in the region, the Turkish Navy stands ready to defend the nation's shores. At the forefront of their naval power is the Gabia-class frigate, a true marvel of engineering weighing in at 4,100 tons. This state-of-the-art vessel, along with a fleet of 156 ships, including 16 frigates, 9 corvettes, 34 patrol vessels, 12 submarines, and 11 mine warfare vessels, ensures that the Turkish Navy maintains a dominant presence in the maritime domain. Main. However, Turkey doesn't have any nuclear weapons. It doesn't have an aircraft carrier, a helicopter carrier, or any destroyers. We might see some of these in the near future since more than 80% of their weapons are locally made. Until then, they stay 10th on the list of the world's most powerful armed forces, Italy. On paper, ranking Italy above Turkey makes very little sense, especially since they spent just $19 billion on their military, $3 billion more than the Turks. However, it would be a catastrophic error to underestimate them. Centuries of complicated fighting and decades of fascist rule has ensured that their armed forces are both ruthless and sophisticated. The Italian armed forces is subdivided into land, naval and amp air force. However, there is an additional paramilitary arm, called the Carabinieri, that serves as both a gendarmerie and military 
police force, with a total of 170,000 active military personnel, 20,000 reserves, and 107,000 paramilitaries. Italy is a fortress unto itself. The army's ground forces include 197 tanks, 68,508 military vehicles, and 197 self-propelled towed and rocket artillery. The main battle tank of the Italian army is the Arie, a third-generation vehicle of destruction that is equipped with a powerful 120mm barrel. This tank can accelerate up to 65 km per hour and has an impressive range of 600 km. It is the sole tank model used by the Italian military. Only 200 units of this beast exist. All 200 belong to the Italian army. Amongst the Italian army's towed artillery is the Panzer Haubitzer 2000 class of towed artillery. Another locally made weapon it is known for its power and effectiveness and its main weapon is the 155 mm howitzer cannon which provides the army with significant firepower. In addition to tanks and artillery, the Italian army also utilizes missile systems like the M270 systems to enhance its long-range strike capabilities. In the air, Italy operates a total active fleet of 850 aircrafts, making it an intimidating force in the skies. This fleet includes 92 Eurofighter Typhoon fighter aircraft, which is considered one of the best in the Air Force's inventory. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a multi-purpose 4.5 generation twin-engine delta-wing multi-role fighter aircraft built by the European Union. Its advanced capabilities and versatility make it a formidable asset for the Italian Air Force. Another important aircraft is the Tornado that is renowned for its ability to conduct various missions, including air superiority, ground attacks and reconnaissance. The Italian Air Force's fleet also includes a wide range of other aircraft, including training aircraft, transport aircraft, helicopters and attack helicopters. These aircraft provide the Air Force with the necessary capabilities to train personnel, transport troops and equipment, and conduct specialized missions. During World War II, the Italian Navy fought against the Royal Navy for control of the Mediterranean Sea, showcasing its determination and resilience. After the war, Italy became a member of NATO, further solidifying its commitment to international security and cooperation. Today, that same Navy operates a diverse fleet of 184 ships, which includes two aircraft carriers, 13 frigates, four destroyers, eight submarines, 21 patrol vessels, and 10 mine warfare vessels. This impressive fleet enables the Navy to project power and protect Italy's maritime borders effectively. However, the Carabinieri has to be Italy's special calling card. Established in 1814, the Carabinieri predates the formation of Italy itself, and it is responsible for law enforcement, military policing, and participating in combat missions abroad. United Kingdom when you consider the United Kingdom's history of warfare and its centuries of military conquests, you'd expect them to be a little higher on this list. I mean, they did colonize the US after all, right? Yeah, you are right. But don't be mistaken. Till this very day, the British Armed Forces is one of the most elite, most feared, and most respected sovereign military bodies in the world. They've just peddled back in recent years. However, that hasn't stopped them from spending $67 billion on their military. The British Armed Forces boasts of 194,000 active personnel and 37,000 reserves reserve personnel, including its highly specialized units like the Royal Marines across its land, Navy and Air Forces as at 2023. Pretty impressive for a country that has supposedly pedaled back. The British Army consists of 227 tanks, 73,296 military vehicles, and 244 self-propelled towed and rocket artillery. Amongst their impressive advanced weaponry are the Challenger 2 tanks with their powerful 120mm guns. The British Army has 157 of them on standby at any given time. One of the key strengths of the British Army lies in its deployable combat formations. With two divisions and eight brigades, the British Army has the capability to rapidly deploy and engage in a wide range of operations. These formations are composed of highly trained and skilled soldiers who are ready to face any challenge. In the skies, the Royal Air Force takes serious control with its fleet of aircrafts. 119 fighter jets, 33 attack helicopters, 233 regular military helicopters amongst a host of other Others that round up its aerial fleet to a staggering 663 aircrafts. The jewel in the crown of the RAF's fleet is the F-35, a fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft that has advanced stealth capabilities, superior maneuverability and state-of-the-art avionics. The RAF currently has 30 F-35 aircrafts in its inventory, with plans for receiving 11 more in the next two years. The Royal Navy is an integral part of the British Armed Forces, has a storied history and plays a vital role in maintaining the might of the 
United Kingdom, with a fleet of 73 commissioned ships including two aircraft carriers and six destroyers. Among the Royal Navy's destroyers, the Type 45 deckhand destroyer stands out as some of the best in the world. Weighing in at 9,400 tons, these powerful ships are armed with a variety of missiles and possess advanced radar and anti-aircraft systems. Their cutting-edge technology and formidable firepower make them a force to be reckoned with on the high seas. The Royal Navy also boasts 12 frigates, 26 patrol vessels, 9 mine warfare vessels and 10 submarines, some of which carry its nuclear warheads. Yes, the UK is one of nine countries in the world with nuclear warheads, and they have 260 of them. South Korea most people don't realize just how formidable the South Korean army is. Most people either don't know or have quickly forgotten how sophisticated they were during the Vietnam War. Because when you're living right next to your greatest enemy, it is the survival of the fittest every breathing second. And that's why South Korea sits pretty high on this list. In 2023, South Korea allocated $44.2 billion to its defense budget. And it's been money well spent, especially when you consider just how much high-grade military tech they have. Tech that they created themselves. But before we dive into that, you should know that the South Korean army boasts a staggering personnel strength of over 3.6 million, including 599,000 active personnel and 3.1 million reserves across its land, Navy and Air Forces, as at 2023. The South Korean army consists of 2,331 tanks, 133,738 military vehicles, and 9,347 self-propelled, towed, and rocket artillery. Among their incredibly impressive land equipment is the intimidating K2 main battle tanks. These impressive grunting beasts cost $9.2 million per unit. And guess what? South Korea has 300 of them. The Korean military also sports the show-stopping K9 howitzers that was made in South Korea and has been exported to a host of different countries around the world. In the skies, the South Korean Air Force dominates its peninsula with a staggering total of 1,602 military aircrafts including 402 fighter jets, 112 attack helicopters, 739 regular military helicopters amongst a ton others. The creme de la creme, however, has to be its F-35 stealth aircrafts and its Apache attack choppers. On the sea, South Korea has what many experts are beginning to call the world's best warship, Aegis destroyer King Sejong the Great. It has more firepower than any other warship in the world at the moment. The South Korean sports this beautiful aquatic beast in its assembly of 157 ships, which includes two helicopter carriers, 18 frigates, 13 destroyers, a staggering 22 submarines, 35 patrol vessels and 14 mine warfare vessels. Now all of these are impressive military assets. But the one that definitely shines above the rest is South Korean's anti-missile defense system that it uses to protect itself from you-know-who. Dubbed the three-axis system, it is a complex multi-layered defense system that would intercept and destroy any enemy missiles if North Korea ever decided to behave funny. France from the Hundred Year War to the Napoleonic Era, the French armed forces have played a pivotal role in shaping European and global affairs. During World War I, French soldiers alongside their allied counterparts held the front line against formidable enemies, contributing significantly to the final Allied victory. And while World War II was marked by a serious defeat for France, they showcased their resilience and bravery regardless of the initial setback. Today, that resilience is reflected in their $45 billion defense budget. It is also reflected in their personnel strength that is 415,000 strong, including 205,000 active personnel across its land, navy and air forces as at 2023. It might not be as much as Korea, but don't make the mistake of underestimating the French force because when it comes to instruments of war, they're above almost everyone else. I'm talking 222 tanks, 72,626 military vehicles, 115 self-propelled towed and rocket artillery. However, the star of the show when it comes to their land forces has got to be the Leclerc main battle tanks that cost $16 million per unit and sports advanced armored chassis while being equipped with state-of-the-art guidance systems and communication technologies which would provide a decisive advantage on the battlefield. In the skies, France takes control with an impressive total of 1,004 military aircrafts including 226 fighter jets, 69 attack helicopters, 436 regular military helicopters and a host of others. They are also one of very few countries to have a tanker fleet, third behind 
only Saudi Arabia and in the US. Then there is the Rafale jet that is just a thing of beauty. The $120 million hypersonic jet makes an undeniable case with its advanced avionics, radar systems and precision guided weaponry. On the sea, you won't find France coming short either. They have an assembly of 126 ships, which includes one aircraft carrier, 11 frigates, 10 destroyers, 9 submarines, 15 patrol vessels and 17 mine warfare vessels. Of these vessels, the Tonnerre has to be the most impressive French sea beast. It is a powerful amphibious helicopter carrier, but you'll hear most people call it a floating military village because it also carries gyms, a bakery, missiles, machine guns, tanks, troops, landing crafts, all while moving at 19 knots. If you wanted to buy this ship from France, you would have to fork out $905 million. And just in case you've forgotten, the French also have nuclear weapons. Japan. The Japanese army was a menace during the Second World War, and their fatal mischief had very little to do with technological advancement because they were incredibly backward in that regard. What made them unstoppable was the willingness of every soldier to sacrifice their lives for their emperor. In recent times, that level of dedication now reflects across the board, and it is being financed by their $52 billion defense 2023 budget. They have spent very wisely. They have a personnel strength that is 309,000 strong with 240,000 active personnel and 55,000 reserve personnel across its land, navy and air forces as at 2023. And when it comes to the upgrades they have made since the US bullied them into submission in the Second World War, there are 1,004 tanks, 111,180 military vehicles, 817 self-propelled, towed and rocket artillery. In the skies, the Japanese show off their imperial might with 1,451 military aircrafts, 217 fighter jets, 119 attack helicopters, 500 66 regular military helicopters, 150 special mission crafts and 27 attack jets. The fighter jet you're looking at right now is the Mitsubishi F-2. The bad boys it is carrying just under its wings are four Type 88 anti-ship missiles. These missiles have a 50 kilometers range and a 150 kilograms warhead. Japan might have been behind during the Second World War, but they quickly adjusted. The F-2 was originally a US fighter that they took and improved on. Now on the sea, Japan turns it up a notch. They have an assembly of 155 marine vessels, which includes four helicopter carriers, four frigates, a whopping 36 destroyers, 21 submarines, six patrol vessels, and 22 mine warfare vessels. And out of this intimidating fleet are the Otago class destroyer and the Soryu class submarine. Technically, the Otago class destroyers should be cruisers because of just how much tonnage they displace. But who says they cannot be both? Mainly tasked for long-range air defense duties, they also have anti-ballistic missile capabilities. These ships are Japan's number one line of defense and here's why. Theoretically, two of these destroyers acting together for homeland defense can create a no-fly zone for a diameter of 600 kilometers around each of them if they are assumed to be at the center of the circle. This is enough to create a sea-based anti-air barrier to defend the Japanese mainland, so good luck on that. But let's say you made the divine error of attacking them from underwater. Well, then you'd have to contend with this marvelous beast, the Soryu-class submarine. They are amongst the most advanced submarines in the world with a diving depth of 500M, which is also amongst the highest in its category. And the category I'm talking about is diesel electric propulsion. But don't let that make you scoff on this beauty because it is as close as you can get to its nuclear-powered counterparts. Point in case the Soryu class has the largest armament capacity among diesel electric subs, and it is incredibly close to the capacity of nuclear subs. But more than enough for the island nation that is strong allies with one of the most powerful countries in the world. You know who I'm talking about. India. India comes across to many as a country of contradictions. On one hand, they have some of the most incredible displays of wealth, and yet on the other, some of the world's most impoverished set of people. It's like saying first world from one side of your mouth and third world through the other. But hey, don't make the mistake of looking for those contradictions in their army because you won't find any. In 2023, the country spent $73.8 billion on its defense budget, the third largest in the world. You don't blame them. They have a population of 1.4 billion people, and from that population they can boast of a total military personnel of 5.1 million people, an active base of 1.4 5 million and a reserve personnel of 1.155 million. It is beyond impressive and borderline terrifying, but we just started. Because when it comes to land technology, India has a tank stock of 4,614 military vehicles that number 100,882 and 4,911 self-propelled towed and rocket artillery. In the skies, India is equally impressive. A stock total of 2,210 aircraft, fighter jets that are about 577, 130 
20 attack jets, 6 tanker fleets, 807 choppers, and 36 attack helicopters. The most powerful of the lot is the Su-30 Maki. It is a long-range, multi-role, super-maneuverable 4-5-plus gen fighter which was built according to Indian specifications. Like Japan with their F-2, India worked off a baseline Su-30 MK from Russia which was modified with French, Israeli, and Indian avionics to create the ultimate Su-30 variant for India. The E in Su-30 Maki stands for India. Today they own 272 of these bad boys, making India the largest Su-30 operator in the world. In the sea, India is also a force of unstoppable nature. They sport 295 assets, including two aircraft carriers, 11 destroyers, 12 frigates, 19 corvettes and 18 submarines. This is an impressive lineup, but the star of the show is the infamous BrahMos missile, built as a joint venture between India and Russia to modify the Yakont missile for Indian needs. The result was a universal missile which could be launched from any platform. This 9M long missile weighs 3 tons. However, the air-launched variant has a reduced weight of 2.5 tons, and one missile can be carried under the fuselage of the Su-30 Meke. Underestimating India is a fatal error that no one with a measure of military understanding would even attempt. But there are military heavyweights, and there are military super heavyweights. And now it is time for the latter, China. China is a world superpower, plain and simple, and their rise to military and economic elitism is a column of history in itself. I mean, these guys were subdued throughout World War II by the Japanese, and yet here they are today the most threatening villain of the West. They are not only one of the most powerful nations, they have one of its most formidable militaries, and the proof is in their budget. China's 2023 defense budget alone is worth $224 billion. That's richer than the richest man on earth. But that's not the only intimidating factor to China. When it comes to military personnel, they boast a mind-boggling 3,135,000. That is almost the entire population of Uruguay. It barely has more than the active personnel of 2 million. And when you consider that China has almost as many reserve personnel as Italy's total, you know how dangerous the communist state is. When it comes to land forces, the Chinese army has a tank stock of 4,950, 174,300 military vehicles, and 7,374 self-propelled, towed, and rocket artillery. In this lineup, one of its its most noteworthy land-based weapons is the Type 99A tank. This menacing prowler is digital and networked and can strike foes even when out of sight. In the air, China reigns supreme with 3,166 aircrafts in total, 11 99 fighter jets, 371 attack jets, 4 tanker fleets, 913 choppers, and 281 attack helicopters. The Chengdu J-20 has to be the country's most formidable airborne threat. Although it bears shocking similarities to the American F-20, which shouldn't be too shocking if you're familiar with Chinese business practices. It is still a terror in the skies and a great equalizer if they ever have to go to war with other superpowers. On the sea, China bellows from the deep with 730 naval vessels, two aircraft carriers, three helicopter carriers, 50 destroyers, 43 frigates, an unbelievable 78 submarines, about 150 patrol vehicles and 36 mine warfare vehicles. The creme de la creme of Chinese supremacy is its DFZF hypersonic missiles. These hyper-futuristic weapons Weapons of mass destruction are practically glide vehicles and can be fitted to a variety of current missiles including nukes. The whole chassis and its nuances extend the missile's range by up to 50% while improving speed. There are very few defenses in the world that it can't bypass, and yes that includes Navy fleet defenses. Russia. In an alternate universe, Germany never happened, and the Soviet Union conquered the modern world. In our world, we might not all be communist, but Russia is still a malevolent threat, keen on warfare, and incredibly tactical. That's the one edge they have over China. Battle experience. They are always fighting wars. And this is evident in their defense budget of $84 billion. Waging the war in Ukraine means that figure will definitely skyrocket next year. Their total military personnel stands at 1,330,900, the fifth largest in the world. 840,000 of that figure is active, 250,000 are in reserve, and about 250,000 more are paramilitary. When it comes to the land-based instrument of war, Mother Russia has a tank stock of 12,556, 151,641 military vehicles, and 14,798 self-propelled towed and rocket artillery. The 45-ton three-person T-90M with its 125mm gun and steel composite armor is Russia's best tank. The T-90M 
ATM is armed with a new 2A46M4 gun, which has extensively long range and can fire anti-tank missiles that have a range of 4 to 5 kilometers. It can also engage low flying. Helicopters. Russia's aerial fleet is 4,182 craft strong, 773 fighter jets, 744 attack type jets, a tanker fleet of 14, 1531 helicopters, and 537 attack types. The Sukhoi Su-57 Felon is Russia's golden boy in the skies. The fifth generation stealth multi-role fighter jet was designed to specifically destroy various land, airborne, and maritime targets, and it does it so well most people regard it one of the most, if not the most advanced, jet of all time. On the seas, Russia will not be found lacking either. With 598 naval assets, it comprises one aircraft carrier, 15 destroyers, 11 frigates, 86 corvettes, 70 submarines, 59 patrol vessels, and 49 mine warfare vessels. Russia's naval Starboy is the Kirov class, Soviet designation Project 1144 Orlan. Normal people call it the Sea Eagle, and it is a class of nuclear-powered guided missile battlecruisers of the Russian Navy. It is the largest and heaviest surface combatant warship in operation in the world. There are almost no rivals in the world that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this marvelous, terrifying beast. Almost. Because when it comes to who sits at the top of the food chain, the world knows, China knows, even Mother Russia knows that it is. The United States. Before the conversation began, it ended. There is a reason why so much of the world still speaks English, and as much as the United Kingdom played its role when it still commanded some heft in the world, the US conveniently filled in its place and has been on a reign of unfathomable dominance. Okay, let's start with its budget. The defense budget of 2023 for the US is $857.9 billion. That is more than three times the defense budget of China that comes in second. China might have way more military personnel than the US at 1.8 million, and an active and reserve personnel of 1.3 million and 442,000 respectively. But does it really matter? Because when it comes to land forces, the US have simultaneously mastered the art of both quality and quantity to insane precision. 5,500 tanks, 303,553 military vehicles, and 4,055 propelled, towed, and rocket artillery. America has the best main battle tank in the world, the M1A2 Abrams, named after Vietnam-era General Creighton Abrams. When it comes to lethal Lethality and survivability, no other tank in the world comes close. The 76-ton behemoth is known for its superior protection because it has thick armor that can withstand enemy fire and explosive rounds, as well as chemical, biological, and nuclear conditions. The M1 Abrams protection also goes beyond the armor as the fuel and ammunition reside in separate compartments, giving the crew a greater chance of survival in the event of internal explosions. In the skies, there is only one king, and it is the US Air Force. 13,300 aircraft in total is no joke. 1,914 fighter jets, 843 attack types, a tanker fleet that towers so high above it's difficult to see them at 568. They have 5,584 choppers and about a thousand attack helicopters. Are you still here? Well, let's all bow to the creme de la creme of fighter jets, the F-35. Stealth features, sensor fusion, the world's most powerful aircraft engine, data networking capabilities, and the most advanced radar. The F-35 has it all. Its pilots even use a special augmented reality helmet that offers them unprecedented levels of situational awareness. The aircraft can track and attack targets in all directions, so getting on the F-35's tail does not mean you are safe from its missiles. I could stay here all day talking about the F-35, but let's move on to the sea. But before we do that, did you know that the U.S. Navy has the fourth largest air force in the world, and the U.S. Marine Corps has the seventh largest air force in the world? Good, now that you know, let's move on. The U.S. Navy, well, what can I say? 484 total assets, 11 11 aircraft carriers, 9 helicopter carriers, 92 destroyers, 22 corvettes, 68 submarines and about 10 patrol vessels. Its most lethal warship is its newest, USS Zumwalt. It is the largest and most technologically advanced surface combatant in the world. This behemoth cost the US about $4 billion and it currently has no rivals anywhere in the world. The United States military is its strength and the deterrent that keeps all of its rivals in check. No one wants to fight the US in any battle under any circumstances, not even China. But times are changing, and other global superpowers are catching up. So who knows? In a couple of years, this list might become obsolete. Click on the cards on the screen for more videos like this.